Hey guys and welcome back. Some more front end magic. Right. So um, I want to see what's the top ranked countries based on sales, right? So right now I want to see top 10. So I have this line here, which actually shows me instead of user having to actually see what's the top five. Well, you have a dynamic little reference line here, which um, shows you the top 10. But what if you want to make it a little more dynamic? That is, you now want to see only the top five or the top three or the top two, right? So you can move the slider here and the, your, your dynamic dimensional label just keeps moving around. Pretty darn cool, right? And uh, well, just to make it cooler, I've added some colors here just so it, you see where the difference is. So now you see what the uh, three countries are. Um, yeah, if you want to learn how to do it, let's have a look. So I've created a simple little bar chart here that has uh, my country as my dimension and sales as my measure, right? So now let's add a reference line. You know how to add the reference line. Of course you do. I have something called dimensional reference lines. So let's take that, add a reference line. And let's say here we go to the value. And here I'm going to say, well, I want the value to be my country. Well, aggregate, since this is a dimension, um, I can't really have sum or count or whatever, right? So I need something that can aggregate a dimension. So I'm going to use only. And here I'm going to write a set expression. Again, curly braces. This is a search. So it has to be under double quotes. Well, all these formulas are in the cheat sheet. So check it out. And uh, here we're going to say, well, if the sum of sales sum of sales amount and rank those sum of sales amount right and if that ranking is equal to let's say the top five now then in that case bring the country name and we're missing maybe one extra bracket here so let's close this all right good and now let's click on enter and here we have so we have one two three four five right so um, you get a dimension line here. Let's make this to the end because we want to, um, but you want to make this dynamic. So let's make it dynamic. How do we do that? Well, by creating a variable. You know that if you've been following this channel, well, we, we freaking love variables, don't we? Um, so let's do that. So let's go into variables. Let's add, let's create a new variable here. Let's, we don't give anything here because we want to give the values based on a slider, right? So let's click on enter, let's click on done, and then let's go into our objects. Here we go to variable input, we put the variable over here. We go to appearance, we go to, um, here we could, we say the variable name that I want is vrank, that needs to uh, give the value based on whatever the user selects here. Uh, let's just make this a slider for now. Let's update this on drag, the values are zero. Let's give it a um, boundary here. Put the label um, I'll just remove this so that you can see it over here good so now you have this but this doesn't really work because the two aren't connected so let's go ahead go ahead and connect it so now we go back I go back to my measure here and here instead of three let's say whatever the value for that variable is right so here I want to dollar expand my variable and it was we rank good and you can see over here already because we because the variable input has given our empty variable that's we rank the value of four so it's already replaced whatever is here right so now i click on enter and you see that it's moved to the fourth position um, to make it a little more here we could say rank good and you click on enter and you see top four so now you have top six you have top seven a super dynamic little dimensional reference lines we could make one more improvement that is uh, i mean this doesn't look that great we're going to try to make this a little bit better so let's go back here and uh, let's try to change this color so that the ones that are actually in this top two have a different color uh, compared to the rest, right? Let's go into appearance. 
let's go into our presentation no sorry let's go into colors let's go into by expression and here we say if the sum of sales amount then ranked lesser than or equal to we rank is lesser than or equal to whatever our dimensional line is right um, that's nothing but the we rank then in that case give it one color right so if you rank it if those countries are actually less than where the dimensional line is then give it this color otherwise give it this color enter here voila now you have a super clear way to visualize the different ranked countries and you can update it however you want so i have way more tricks and tips in the cheat sheet check it out and um check out the course you'll learn a lot and i'm working on a notion template so that it kind of helps all the click developers to stay on track of their app all right see you in the next one peace